Hi y'all, it's you seven. Okay, so this video today is going to be about how to raise your standards. Now, if you're not like, if you're not very cultured, if you haven't been to all these places, if you haven't been to fancy places, if you don't know what to like, if you don't know how to raise your standards, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some clues and pointers on how to do it. Okay, so take yourself somewhere nice, you know. Go out to lunch somewhere nice, or breakfast, or where you know whatever meal that you have time to take yourself to. Take yourself somewhere nice, somewhere you've never been before, somewhere you'd like to go, somewhere you think you know would be a cool place to go, like on a date, or you know out to lunch, and take yourself there first. Okay, get used to being uh, in certain areas and certain places that you know that you like. And you know, go to lunch because the lunch menu is always a little bit cheaper. Go to lunch, you know, sit down, have a meal, you know, order whatever you like. And you know, after that, maybe you can go walk around and window shop or you know, just take yourself out for a date, basically. Basically, take yourself out for a date to somewhere you've never been. Impress yourself, you know, try something new. And don't be afraid to go by yourself, okay. Because first of all, this is how you meet people. Second of all, once you meet people that are in the same places that you want to be, then there's no issues of, you know, um, equality as far as your standards. So take yourself out to lunch. Maybe if you don't want to sit at a table by yourself, lots of restaurants have like a bar. Sit at the bar, eat your lunch, get maybe a glass of wine or iced tea if you don't drink. But a lot of successful single men tend to go to nice restaurants for lunch and sit at the bar and have a meal. So if you're there and they're there, you know, you never know what could spark. Um, and also, don't be afraid to, you know, to smile, be more inviting, you know, look happy, look like you're enjoying yourself. Because when people see you enjoying yourself, they want to know, you know, Oh, this person looks like she's fun to hang around. Oh, she looks cool. She's living the life. She's happy, you know. You, they don't see you as someone who's like out to scheme on them or um, they don't see you as like purely sexual because you're not like in a club at night dressed all, you know, skimpy. You're out having lunch at a very nice restaurant and you're in your lady clothes. When I say lady clothes, I mean your classy clothes, okay? Like you could like they don't know if you're on your lunch break. They don't know if you're a lady of leisure, but you're dressed nice. You're not showing everything. You're, you know, presentable. Someone they could take home to mom. OK, <laughs> so you go out to, to lunch. Try to go alone. Like guys don't like to approach women with a lot of cackling women around them. <laughs> so try to go alone sometimes, you know, uh, be easily able to be approached you know so like when you go about yourself you take yourself to a nice restaurant you're raising your standards you're showing other people who might be interested in you looking at you what you expect um, you could end up meeting someone um, or not so you just take yourself on a date you know go go look around at you know places where you think it would be a good place to you know <clears throat> Go after dinner, perhaps like a museum or a art museum. Like if you like history, go to the Natural History and Science Museum. If you like art, go to the art museum and just walk around, you know, get into the feel of how you want to be treated and, and your standards. Because then when someone approaches you and they ask you out on a date and they say, well, where do you want to go? You have all these nice places to name. And you might just impress them because they might have never been and they might feel say, oh, well, this lady knows, you know, nice things to do. And she's very classy and she's showing me new things. I really like this. She's so different, you know, instead of the same old thing. Oh, let's just go have drinks. Oh, let's just go to the club. You know, you're you're going out exploring places so that when you do get asked on a date then you have some cool, you know, new stuff to do that they might not consider, you know, places to go on a date. So you're exploring, explore your city, find little cool things, different things that are not, 
you know, just like a normal thing to do. Um, I took one time when I was okay, y'all, when I was younger, I took my date to the natural history, uh, the natural history funeral museum. <laughs> I took him to a funeral museum <laughs> because it was like right next door to where I went to school. I went to uh, Mortuary College, so it was connected to the school. And they were like, wow, that's so cool. I didn't even know this place existed, you know. Or just like a new restaurant that no one's, you know, like, you know, that's different, different type of food, fusion food, I don't know. But just do something different. Take yourself out to something different because when you are approached by a guy the next time, you're not going to be boring and the same and, oh, I want to go, you know, here and I want to go there to the club. I want to go, you know, you're going to have some interesting things to do. And it's also going to raise your standards in men because you're automatically going to know who's going to be who's going to fit in here, who's going to be able to afford this place, and who's going to be able to uh, also be impressed by this place, you know? If you're if you're used to dating guys who are like subpar, mediocre, you are no, you know they're not going to enjoy certain things. You know they're not going to be able to afford certain places. So you're not even going to be interested in them because now your standards are raised. You know what you like. You know where you want to be taken on a date. You'll see when you're out, you'll see other people on dates at these places You'll see the kind of men that they're dating and and you'll see them, you know, you know what? They don't look that much different than me. They're not that much different than me. I can actually, you know, date someone on this level. You know, you'd be surprised. I've gone into places where you would think, you know, only super rich people would go. But I would go in there and see people look worse than me. And I don't look bad, but <laughs> I would see them on dates with these guys. And you would be like, you know, I... I I've just been going to the wrong places, you know. Go to the nice side of town. Get your standards up. Don't hang around places where you know these people have issues. Go go uptown, you know. That's what I did. <laughs> and I'm not even lying. It's, I would not hang out in places where I knew the people weren't going to be able to meet my standards, you know. <laughs> So go to go somewhere new. Put on your ladylike outfit, not not a slut outfit, because this is gonna be like during the day, um, on the weekend or whatever. Put on a ladylike outfit. Uh, so that when if a guy does approach you, he approaches you the right way, with class. You know, he's he's interested in you to getting to know you as a person to date you, not just to have sex with you. So remember that like I don't ever suggest I have never had a long-term relationship with anybody I met in a club no clubs are just like pickup places for you know stuff like that and it's, and there are some people who met in the club and are still together I understand that but nowadays it's like it's not a good place to meet people no bookstores yes <sighs> But it's kind of weird trying to meet somebody in a bookstore because, you know, but a bookstore is a good place because, you know, you read, I read, we're literate, you know, we're not <laughs> ignorant, you know, at least you have that in common. But yeah, so raise your standards, take yourself on a nice date, um, look around you, observe your environment, observe the people there, observe the type of people on dates there get into the feeling of being uh, in nicer places and hiring your expectations of where you allow men to take you on dates ladies okay please no buffets i'm sorry <laughs> do not go to a buffet on a date please i beg of you don't do it um also let's see you know like if you're overly overly you know done up for club all the time tone it down a little bit just a little bit for the daytime you know don't go out looking like you know overly made up guys don't like women overly made up they, they think they're hiding something but just keep it you know you can put on makeup put on lashes you can put on whatever but don't overdo it don't 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 look like a drag queen at noon walking around you know a park with kids <sighs> tone it down 
a little bit okay i've seen some women who just went crazy just like they're walking around walmart in stilettos with like club clothes on okay on sunday morning or saturday morning and i'm like no <laughs> So, yeah, tone it down a little bit because guys, if they see that, they think, you know, oh, she's a hooker or she's trying to get attention from all the men. If you just look natural, nice, a little bit done up, like you care about yourself, like you have standards, that's what they like. Okay. Um, <laughs> my tongue is numb because I sprayed some perfume and my mouth was open and it's like, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it, it tickles. So, yeah, thank y'all. Uh, I know like a lot of y'all are younger and y'all are still like in the dating game and stuff like that. And y'all need some little hints and tips and pointers. And some of y'all have already been married and divorced and trying to get back into the dating game. Uh, a lot of things have changed since, you know, you, you might have last dated or since I've dated. Men are more, um, I'll just say this, average men who make average income or lower are not trying to pay for your stuff, y'all. And if they are, they want something in return most of the time. Not all the time. They're, I'm not going to say all, guys. Okay? Uh, they could genuinely be looking for, you know, a nice person to hang out with. But you got to go for guys with a career, a stable career. Because if they have a job, I'm going to tell y'all. If you're trying to date a guy with a job, that's not that's not a solid foundation because they could lose that job. You know, if you have a career, a guy, he can just hop from company to company to company because his career secures his position in any company. Like, you know, that is, you know, to what his career is pertaining to. So try to tend to date guys with careers because they'll be more stable financially and they won't feel like taking you out on the date is a risk <laughs> of losing their rent money or something okay but go for guys with careers go to lunch look for guys who are in like nice clothes that you know they work somewhere that's nice and have a career um don't hang out at night guys who hang out late at night especially on the weekdays they don't have a good job because they're like they're supposed they would be home getting sleep if and not out in the club trying to party if they were you know financially responsible and had a good career okay they would usually be in by at least 10 o'clock on the weeknights now weekends different story okay so yeah so go out weekdays like if you have a lunch break take yourself to a nice restaurant for lunch save up your little money i don't know bring your lunch like maybe three days a week and save your money from going to like the fast food or wherever you eat save that up to go get you like a good meal at a nice restaurant sit at the bar make yourself available and you know look around observe observe what's going on and see what you are missing by having low standards if you have low standards i don't know um, that's what I, okay, I'm gonna, how long do I have, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story. Every day, okay, every day me and my friend would go out to eat at this really nice restaurant. We would sit at the bar and we would see business owners. We would see lawyers, doctors. It was right in the medical center. Y'all go to, go near the hospitals, okay? It was right near the medical center. We would see doctors, lawyers, funeral directors. You know everybody and we would just people would like just see us eating and they, they would come in approach us would you like a drink oh da, 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 da. would you like some company oh well what do you do are you on your break too and yeah I work over there at the hospital and I own my own company blah 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 blah, blah you know and they would just give you their card make sure your man got a card like you know <laughs> That means they have a career. They would just give us cards. And it's like, if you ever want to go to lunch, you know, we're on the same side of town, the same time of day, just let me know. I'll take you to lunch. Free lunch every every day since then. 
<laughs> we didn't even have jobs, y'all. Me and my friend didn't even have a job. We were just like, y'all ready to go? You ready to go to lunch? Okay. And she was like, well, I just called such and such. And he said he'll take us both to lunch. So they just want to be seen with pretty women. You know, I don't know. And they have enough money to just, you know, throw around. It's lunch. They're doctors. And, okay, so. <laughs> she was in charge of making the arrangements. I was just show up. <laughs> anyway, so. Let me start with my old tales of the early 2000s. <laughs> okay. Thank you all for watching. If you all have any comments or questions, put them down below. And I'll see you all later. Bye.